Back in July, I took a look at Whirlwind FX's Element Mechanical Keyboard. I was impressed with the screen imitation lighting features that were offered and its overall solid build quality. It's been my main keyboard ever since, and recently Whirlwind FX was gracious enough to send me the Element's new little brother, the Atom Mechanical Keyboard to check out. Somehow, I've come away even more impressed. The Atom is classified as a 60% keyboard, meaning that it foregoes the number pad and arrow keys. However, the rest of the keys are the same size as those found on a normal size board. This new keyboard once again utilizes the Vortex Engine program to power its color changing feature that works to duplicate the action happening on your monitor with the lights on the keyboard. It's still as responsive and as fun as it is on the Element, even though there are fewer keys, meaning there are fewer lights available for it to take advantage of. Connecting it is as simple as plugging it in with a USB Type-C cable, with the Atom coming bundled with a very nice 6 foot long braided cable. The smaller footprint of the Atom, coming in at 11 and a third inches long, 4 inches wide, and 1 and a half inches thick when you include the keys, makes it come in just a tad bit larger than a Nintendo Switch, meaning it's a perfect portable keyboard option to take with you when you're away from your main machine. It easily will fit into a backpack or carry-on, letting you take with you to a coffee shop, library, or wherever your work finds you. I was really impressed with just how solid the Atom's build quality is. It has a really nice weight to it, and with the grippers on the bottom, there's little chance of it slipping around on the surface of a desk or a table. My main gripe with the Element keyboard was with the keys, just not having that satisfied clicky goodness that mechanical keyboards are known for. This time, I chose to go with Whirlwind's blue clicky option for the switches, and boy oh boy, do these keys have that satisfying click. Each press sounds and feels so good. The Atom has a retail price of $129.99, which matches the larger Element V2's price tag, which is a bit odd. As nice as the Atom is, Unless you work more on the road or in very limited space, I'd be hard pressed to choose this over the full-sized Element keyboard. In future revisions of the Atom, I would love to see both a price drop, but more, I'd love to see a wireless version. If somehow Whirlwind FX could get their Vortex Engine features to work over Bluetooth, or even using a small USB wireless dongle while keeping the high production quality that the Atom currently has, it would be a home run. Hell, with the wireless option, the similar price point to the Element would be more justified. Whirlwind FX once again proves that this group knows how to make some damn good keyboards with the Atom. The ease of use, the compact form factor, the solid construction, and the integration with the Vortex engine for the lighting make this an impressive piece of tech. With a slight adjustment of the price, the smaller Atom could be a knockout. Currently though, if you're looking for a cool new mechanical keyboard and have a bit more room available to you, the Element V2 may just be the better option. But if you find yourself on the go, definitely take a look at the Atom.